You are now listening to Yeah What if we like held hands at the Kia Summer Savings event? Unless Wristwatch, yeah. big flop, homie pull up in a drop top yeah. I did not expect it to be this bright. I'm low-key scared to be walking out in public like this. Like this. Wearing this bright pink wig, guys. I did not realize I was gonna wear this bright. Oh my gosh, it's low-key a bit small as well. Like you can see it's 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 really in the front. Chai! Oh my gosh, I did not think it would be this bright, man. It's like it's hey, even this bright. I think it low-key is. But um yeah, I thought it would look nice on me, like it would be a nice wig, like, but it looks goofy, like like a, like a clown or something. I'll just have to try and style it, I guess. It doesn't feel too bad, though. Obviously, it's really bright, you know, it's not meant to be like a wearing wig. But, um, maybe I'll cut it, try and shape it a little bit. But, oh my gosh, it's so bright. It's literally neon, literally neon, wow. I'll just try and do something with it, I guess. Yeah. It's kind of cute, you know. Also, I'm trying to do my eyeliner. It's still not really good. But you can't even see how bad it is when I have my glasses on. But if I take off my glasses, you can see that. It's not great, like, but hopefully I can improve by next Saturday. <laughs> and then just add a little bit of lip gloss. And the look is, well, not basically finished. I still need to buy eyelashes from the hair store to add them. And then I'll just put lip gloss and then the look will be done. I feel like I look crazy, I don't know. But I feel like when I do the antennas and I do the like, outfit, it will be more obvious. I mean, like, of course, I'm not just going out in a pink way. Um, yeah, cute or whatever.
Yes or no? what my general experience at comic con this year because the vlog did not really show like everything that was really going on so i just want to express my thoughts my opinions what happened this year so i've only been comic con once before in 2017 but i've also been to one other convention hybrid japan also in 2017 and i would say this experience was significantly worse than the other conventions just because the one i was alone and personally being alone is usually a worse experience than um, being with people. Two, it was so crowded. It was so crowded in there. I got a headache because it was so hot. Um, apparently, the venue can only hold 65,000 people, but there were 75,000 people in it because people were sneaking in, people were using old tickets, and it just wasn't managed well, which is a bit disappointing. Like, like I didn't even know like stuff like that would even happen for Comic Con, like, you know, but that apparently happened. It was so crowded as you saw to me an hour to get in and because i was just alone it was so boring like i was just standing there by myself you know so i think that kind of ruined the experience for me because i got a headache i had to go home early I, I wasn't there for long at all like i got to the station at 11. i got in the venue at like 12. i was down to like maybe three layers maybe 2 3 i don't really remember or maybe earlier but yeah that just ruined it for me honestly and I couldn't even find like the workshops. I wanted to do like the manga um, drawing workshop. I couldn't even find the workshop. Like it was really confusing in the actual venue. I couldn't really find what things were. I was just walking around in circles trying to see for new things. So I was just basically stores, but obviously I don't have the money to buy a lot of things. So obviously, yeah, it was kind of boring. Just walking around looking at a bunch of stores. Like they were beautiful, but 
you know when you can't even buy a lot of the things it's like i want to see work free workshops as well like i remember in comic con 2017 i was playing like games um with my friend i didn't see any of that you know and the talks as well none of them really interested me i think i should have tried tried to stay for the casual cosplay and the cos and the actual cosplay um show because that might be interesting and that's free as well but <sighs> i just didn't because yeah i think i just couldn't be with it. i don't remember but yeah I, i'd say overall my experience was like a six or a 6.5 out of 10 you know i feel like yeah i should have just stayed home for this one saved up for like the next comic con or for happy japan which happened in july um so that i could go and experience another convention with someone because yeah i didn't i thought i you know i'd try i was trying to enjoy myself i was trying to you know just vibe and be comfortable alone but it is hard for me so overall i still recommend going to comic con I definitely will be going to one in the future just this time wasn't great because of how overcrowded it was and because i had to go alone but yeah don't be off put by conventions you know as long as you're with someone and you know you're managing um make sure just to like if you know like you're prone to headaches for example drink water don't over dress you know try and find a quiet space to sit down when you get a bit overwhelmed it was very overwhelming for me as well especially that i was alone like if i was with someone it wouldn't have felt so overwhelming but i was alone but yeah